6.15 to play here in the first half. First of two meetings this year between the two teams, and Leroy Nobles comes out hot, hitting his first two shots, but they got another look at it. There's a three now for Young, more of his range. Boy, what an outstanding shooter. Just a good play by North Dakota State to come up with the ball and make the shot. There's a three by Young, eight points for the soft. You've seen uh, Coach Hunter go about as deep as he's normally going with eight players and uh, got everybody in. Esposito buries the three. He is an excellent shooter. Well, a called set um, out of the at the start of the second half here to get the ball to Glenn. Did I call that? I think you did. Pull for three. Ugly looking shot out of his hand. Yeah, it had kind of a side spin on it, not a normal backspin. There's a finish by Alex Young. Jam City right there. Watch this again. Nothing North Dakota State could do about that. At any time. North Dakota State. There's a steal. They don't need that. Young, he'll finish again. And they're going to call a foul on Michael Tweet. It's a chance at a three-point play. Buckets and then some stops. This has consistently been a 10-point deficit. Here's Young giving it up, and the long arms by Robert Glenn. He's able to lay it in. 17 for Glenn. But it's been 10, 11, 12 the whole way. Zastro's runner comes up short. Got Rebound Pettiford. Up ahead to Avery. Nice pass. What a terrific pass. And he finds his classmate Avery. There's Young off the bench. Shoots a three. And that's 23 points. Congratulations. 65 all was the score. You see North Dakota State come back with that big run to make it 65 all. And then it looked like you guys turned right to your senior, Robert Glenn. He was absolutely unbelievable at the free throw line tonight was Robert. Yeah, he really was. I, I thought he was uh, he was really terrific. First half, he was awful, and, and I got on him really hard in, in, at halftime. I was uh, I was not happy with him at halftime, so he heard some things that he needed to hear just between us, and, boy, he came out. He was really upset with me, and I told him, if that's what we got to do, I'm going to get him upset before the game. <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> well, Coach, the second half, um, it, we talked about this throughout the telecast or broadcast, whatever you want to call it here on the Internet, but you were 12 to points to 13 points in front of them, but it didn't look like yeah. you were blowing them out. Yeah. It looked like they were still in the game, but it, it just kind of lulled and lulled along, and they hung with it. They stayed true to their form yeah. and being patient, and they tied it up 65-65. What did you say to the team at that point? Well, the thing is, is that all game, Jared, we, we didn't play defense at all. What got us those leads were we, we forced them into turnovers. And so they either made a basket or they turned it over. And so the turnovers is what got us our baskets. But, you know, we just didn't have our legs defense. This is one of the, this is probably the worst defensively effort that we had all year. Uh, we just didn't seem to have our legs in that regard. But we just talked about, we came, you know, all we talked about from the very first beginning of the season, you can't lose at home. And in every timeout, that's what we talked about. You, are not, you can't win this league and lose at home. And that's big for us. And so that's what we talk about. And we said last year we lost the game in December. We couldn't do it this year in, in conference play. And, and I thought the guys stepped up. We got some big rebounds, some big stops, hit some free throws, and then we won the game. I don't know how many times last year you saw Alex Young dive for a ball on yeah. the floor, but yeah. we we saw it three times on Thursday night. We saw it a couple times early on. I mean, that young man's bringing it on both sides of the court. You know what? He's playing like an all-conference guy right now. And, and you know, he's he may, I don't know if he's leading us in scoring, but he's steady. You know, he's getting his 23 points. He's the better, becoming a better defender. But what he's doing, he's in condition. He's playing harder. Last year as a freshman, he wasn't in shape, and he wasn't strong enough to play at this level, but we had to play him. And so I think learning from that, he came back this summer and really dedicated himself to getting his body together, and he looks like a stud right now. He's playing very well. Coach, i got to ask you this. Is he good enough to be checking himself in and out of games, though? No, no, no. That's, <laughs> that's got to stop. He, you know, again, he's not quite sure what offense or defense means, and he's not our best defensive guy. We want Avery in there at the end of that. So I think he just kind of got caught up in a moment there for a minute. That young man can finish yeah. on a break. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he's athletic. He knows how to score the ball. And, and uh, we got some guys that can finish. You know, between he and Rob, we got some guys that can finish on a break, and they, they both did a nice job. But, but uh, we're playing good basketball right now. I like, I like where we're at. I like our confidence level. We won the game tonight because we've been winning. If we had been struggling, this would have been a loss. But when you're winning, that's what happens. Well, you can tell that, that these guys are letting the game come to them. Yeah. You have four or five guys at any point in the game can put the ball on the, the floor mm -hmm. and score it, or they can even knock the three down. And 
in, in your career, have you had five or six guys that can score like that and create the shots the way that they can out there? They're just so athletic, so long, and they make it difficult on any ty- any person on the defensive end. Well, you know what, Jerry, you make a good point. Not not that much balance. You know, we've had one or two guys or one guy, a couple. But we got three bona fide guys who can really, really score. And then when you got a point guard, and John Ashford didn't play like he'd been playing, that can distribute the ball to those guys. See, what helps those guys is that, you know, if you had that fourth guy out there who thought he needed a shot, these three guys now get their shots. John, make sure that they get them in rhythm where they're supposed to get them. There's no arguing about that. You know, again, you know, we, we had 17 assists on eight turnovers, and that's what I love. Every guy, I think we're averaging about 17 assists, and when you can do that, that's when you can have special years. Well, Congratulations. That's what, that's what separates you guys tonight, the, the eight turnovers yeah. and them having 18 turnovers. Right. They weren't able to get those shots on 18 different possessions, and it makes it difficult to win basketball games when you're throwing the ball away like that. Well, and that's the best our key. If you take care of the ball and you make free throws, you're always going to give yourself a chance to win. And they made free throws tonight, including at one point 14 straight by Robert Glenn. Just two turnovers in the second half. Ron Hunter and the Jaguars, they're now 2-0 in the conference, 86-74 the final. Enjoy the rest of this weekend. Good luck. We'll see you in South Bend against Notre Dame. Thanks, guys. See you next week.